All right, what we got next? Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Are we aware of the Michael B. Jordan drama? No. Yes, sir. I'll play it for you. Let's see what he did, man. So, Michael, okay, while this ad goes, you got YouTube Premium where you got yeah, no ads? Yeah, I got YouTube Oh, my premium. God. You're so bougie. Nah, bro. That's on the party hey. bus. That's the only reason I had oh, to get it. Oh, okay. You got to okay. use Google Chrome. Billy Badass. Okay. I use the ad blocker. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's free. I don't like Google Chrome, but I got to use it for streaming now, so I guess I might get in on it. Right. Um,. But all right, so he's getting an interview from someone at the ET, or it's by ET, but it's at the red carpet of a. He has a new movie coming out, Creed, right? Right. right. And the girl interviewing him had recently been on a podcast because she went to high school with him. Right. And she basically said, like in high school, yeah, like I mean, coming up in the, I think it said Bronx, I forgot. I mean, no, was it Jersey? I forgot where. But she's like, I thought it was Newark. Newark, Newark, New Jersey. Okay, okay. okay. She was saying like, you know, like we was we wasn't like that, and he would come with his headshots every day. Like we thought he was hella corny and stuff, you know, because we from the Bronx. Or sorry, from from New Jersey. Like, you know, we all thought he was just like a corny dude, and he was really nice, but he just mad corny. She keeping it real. Exactly yeah. right, and he, this, uh, yeah. he was not feeling that. And see, look at him, look at his face. Look, look, he ready to <laughs> get on his. Hey, what'd you say? <laughs> that shit you was talking. And you know, we know each other. We go way back, all the way to Chad Science in Newark. Okay. Corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. Michael B. Jordan calls. Oh. She said it. Yeah. Right, let's see the full thing. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? Corny kid, right? <laughs> no. I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say cr- I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously. Oh, Mike, you could, you could also you could rest your arms. I'll probably use that. Yeah, so that corny comment comes from a 2021 episode of the Undressing Room podcast where L'Oreal, her co host, Eva Marcia, yeah, so he was not feeling that. Look at his face. You would have thought that she time. was like throwing food in his face yeah. in school and like yeah. picking on him. Because when I first saw that, I'm thinking like back in the day, they'd pick on him. Like mm. he's sitting there and they're like, you corny ass. Like you you a bum. You'll never be nothing. You think you're going to act. You ain't going to be no actor. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, get on her ass. She's yeah. trying to interview now. Like, oh, we go way back. We're buddies. I'm thinking, yo, he getting on her ass and I'm loving it. I'm like, yeah, do your thing, King. Right. Then I find out it's based on what she said on a, on a podcast, and I watch the podcast. I'm like, "Yo, you got that mad? You like, yeah, she, they, yeah, they thought I was corny. Y'all did think I, I'm the corny like, kid, he right? Was corny, like, and he was ready to get her. Yeah. I'm like, bro, to me, well, he looks corny now. Like, he just yeah, that, proved the point. Like, <laughs> see, and that's that's the take uh, Joe Budden had, and people were upset because at first everyone was kind of backing him, like, "Oh yeah, like people want to hate on you when you coming up, and now look at them and whatnot. Now they don't want to brag about knowing you, but like." When you understand the entirety of the situation, I'm like, bro, maybe there's something else from back then. Right. But it seemed like he was only referencing what she said on that podcast. And Joe was going off on him, basically saying, like, bro, that's what you wanted to do on the red carpet. Her moment, too. You want to hate on this black queen, yeah. right? And, you know, right. Joe's going to really right. go hard on that. Like, <laughs> But I'm saying, like, I, I get that angle, to be honest. It seems like I would hope that you could kind of laugh it off and be that like, yeah. Saying. Or, like, even if he made it a joke right there, like, nah, y'all was hating joke. on me, wasn't it? Like, you know, kind of laugh it off. it once and just, boom, kept it going. Yeah, but like, he wasn't going to get off it. No, I heard you. Yeah. I, heard I heard what you it. said. I'm like, yo, give her a bro. break, I mean, bro. he could have taken it way farther because it sounds like he was bullied, like, in, like, grade school. <laughs> oh, so think my about goodness. It. You had old girl bullying you? Nah, you Whoa. know what? It looked like he really hit, but he just didn't want to, oh, out the corny one, huh? Yeah, but oh, what, what that's about when funny I, as fuck. Cause but I can you, actually that is so the why reason. you you feel me? Why you give up the what's the name? Okay, I was yeah. corny when I was up in them guts. <laughs> yeah, that's but how you was sixteen. Looking, huh? <laughs> so I had I had the shit back then. <laughs> but think about it, like why is she starting off the interview like talking about the past? Like if she was like mature about it, she, you you know bygones is bygones, right? You just like look towards the future. Bro, like, but you got it. You but she's trying to pick at him a little bit. She's trying to like start something for sure. I mean, okay, no, but but the podcast was I don't know. I think like a week or something before or days before. And then, like, bro, how you not going to mention we went to high school together, yeah. you know? Like, is Michael B, like, yeah. establish that rapport first thing? Like, imagine, if I have someone on here, a guest, I got to build the rapport first yeah. thing. Yeah, this guy, I've known but, him since whatever. We go way back. And then you... But, huh. but think about it like this. Like, let's say grade school. Like, I'm clowning on you. You're trying to do your thing. You're trying high to hustle. School, high, high school. High school. High school. High school. Whatever. Like, I guess in this sense, they, they said it was bullying or whatever. But let's say, like, I'm on your ass. Like, I'm kind of, like, making fun of you and stuff, whatever. Yeah. And then I'm like, you made it, you know, you're top stage, you got your movie premiere, and I'm here interviewing you. You wouldn't go off on me? See, but that's why, if it was based off that, then yes, I get that. Okay. That's how it took it at first. But it turns out he's talking about the corny thing. That's what that's the words she talking used on that pod. And she was saying, like, yeah, we all thought, like, if anything, that's an admission from her in my eyes. Like, 
if people were, were hating on me coming up or like they just thought I was goofy and then they're sitting there on interview like, yeah, back because what would have been fake to be like, I always knew he had it. Right, I right. knew he was a star. Yeah. I used to smack yeah. his ass after his did. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like her being like, nah, back then we thought he was corny. He was doing his thing, but yeah. we thought he was corny. He'd go to yeah. auditions. He brought his headshots. Like, but back then we're just kids. We think he, to me, that's more like, that's real. That's, that's real. It that's up. what I was thinking. Like, yeah, that's real. That's like, yeah. Like, a lot of people would act in, like I was, but you was boys. Or, right. I mean, you was yeah, his right. homegirl and shit. I was going to do that. Like, yeah, I went to high school with him. But, bro, what do you mean? Like, you were bullying. Yeah, we weren't cool in high yeah, school like, like that. So, yeah. if anything, I took it more like that. And I, you kind of said it the best. Like, he did make himself look corny with yeah. this one. Like, because yeah. you've never seen. I heard you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I heard, I heard what you said. <laughs> I heard what you said. And I don't appreciate that. I wasn't corny back then. Those were great headshots. Like, come on, bro. Like, let it go. But uh, I kind of felt bad for her after after getting the info because I'm sure she seemed off guard for that. Like, I didn't say that, whatever. Yeah. And obviously, she's not going to give him a whole breakdown on the red carpet. But you've never seen him buck up to anybody. Like, right. you never. he seems super, like, non-controversial, non-problematic. Right. It's just kind of funny. Like, on his big, he's probably the biggest he's ever been right now. He got the big-ass movie coming. Right. And he's getting so much attention. And then he goes and uses the spotlight for this. Yeah, uh, I mean, my she, favorite movie is Fruitvale Station. That's, yes, that's like sir. The only that was one, one I could think of, though. I don't. I haven't watched none of the Creed. Creed, stuff, like, you feel me? Um, it's good. What a Creed? Yeah, yeah. Creed. I mean, they're working on the. Isn't it their third or? Yeah, yeah. The third one coming. He, you, you ain't feeling Creed? <laughs> I, I, I only watched the first one to be honest. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Well, that's yeah. What, what, what else might about be Jordan Bennett? He, he, he got a, a bunch. Kid. though. She's saying he's bringing his oh. headshots. He was famous already. He kind of was, and, and yeah. Actually, yeah he and, was a little hardball, bit. Hardball, he was like fucking ten. Yeah, that's true. That's that true. Shit. You right, you right. But he wasn't cracking yet, cause even he was even in that football. He wasn't even like gridiron or whatever, right? So he was in the football the movie, gridiron game, gridiron game. But oh, like, bro, shit. like you wouldn't know that he was in that motherfucker. Like, you, right. you someone would have to tell you type thing. <laughs> right. So I'm saying like, and that was still kind of later on in high school. But like, I could see the kid, cause I used to know a kid in, in elementary school. He'd been in like music videos. He acted and stuff. He was in a like small movie, but like. Right. You don't really care. You, you don't know that y'all. shit. Well, <laughs> yeah. Not lame, but like it's just like you're not looking at him like, oh shit, he's, he's an actor because he's not like you famous. Like right, ain't nobody. Right, right. So we're right. just looking like, oh, he's into acting. That's his right. thing. He's an actor. <laughs> yeah. But I can also see a high school, especially when Jersey, whatever it's like over there. Right. They're yeah, like, man, this haters thing. already like you know certain exactly. Cities, you popping really up with headshots. Right. You're like, who's this clown? <laughs> he got headshots in school. So let's yeah. say like growing up, like you have people like clowning on you for like whatever you was doing, like whatever your grind was, and right. then you meet them like later on in life. Are you gonna look past that because like y'all wasn't like fully mature nah. yet? Or I, I I shit on him. That's why you shit that? on him. I'm gonna throw one jab. That's uh, by the way, black paint. That was one of missing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you just don't try to make it seem like we was hella cool or like yeah. we was boys and like now we like that. But if you giving it up real. Honestly, bro, especially a female too, bro. Like yeah. you're, you're kids, bro. Like you're still kids, dog. You're like 20 years after high school. Right. You can't hold on to no like shit. Like not 20 years, but like he's pretty. He's much older now. Like yeah, how I, old I is he, hope- by the way? Like 30s. Uh, like 35. Ain't he? I think 35? he's probably later 30s oh. now. Huh? Thanks, Maybe I'm I, I was a minute. 36. Ago, yeah. 36. Okay. Yeah, bro. Like I would hope you're not still holding on to that, uh, but it seemed like it was based off that thing. Like, yeah, I was the corny kid, but whatever, <laughs> man. Whatever. Well, bro. put yourself in her shoes. I'm kind of confused. Like if I was clowning on dude in high school or whatever, right? I don't know if and he made it and stuff. I don't know if I want to interview him. I feel kind of embarrassed, I honestly. I don't know if she was clowning him though. That's why I think she was just saying that like they thought of him as like a corny kid because she yeah. said he was a nice guy and stuff. But yeah, I thought they way. called him corny and stuff and made fun of him. Maybe, maybe that's what I thought it was. But his ass <laughs> now his ass need to come out and say yeah. all the all the traumatic stuff he went through yeah. or something like yeah. She used yeah. to pick on me. She he shouldn't throw- even be mad. Like look at him now. He shouldn't be mad. Right. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't fully like just shit on somebody because now it's just making me look yeah, stupid. You, you, like, you want to get at her. Up. You want to get at her, but you ain't had nothing to say to to Lori Harvey. Mm. All you you over there on on Drake and, and Future still talking about this album is very relatable. Her that's it. That's it. It's relatable. Because yeah. she, she she called you corny on a podcast. Lori Harvey said, nah, you ain't going to lock me down. It's time to fuck someone else. You ain't going to tie me down. Uh, uh, hey. Yeah, that's old. That's Come on, old. man. Niggas don't know My about boy's that. My boy's age. New boys, man. 